Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be talking a little bit about the Lightseekers TCG. For a bit of background, Lightseekers is a kickstarted project which links a video game on iOS devices, smart action figures that interact with the game, and TCG, which you can also scan some of the cards into the game to unlock more content. I've been messing around with the Lightseekers game on my iPad since it released and as a big fan of trading cards I wanted to give Lightseekers TCG a try. Because of this I reached out to Playfusion and Lightseekers to make this video for you guys because here we deal with toys, TCG, little monsters, video games, so I thought you guys might want to check it out. Full disclosure in the description down below. In this video I'm not going to teach you how to play the game fully but I will provide some links in the description down below that will really help you learn more about the game, how to play and videos that help me. To start learning the game I recommend you pick up a starting deck. There are currently six available, Astral, Dread, Mountain, Nature, Storm and Tech. These types are what's known as an order so you have to pick an order and some cards work with a certain order and some can work with any deck but more on that later as we open the deck and i'll show you what we get inside okay quite a lot in here actually i wasn't expecting so much okay that's just okay so this is the deck and that is our hero on the front, Tenebra. Okay, and I'm not sure what this is. I think maybe that holds your hero card. I'm not entirely sure. I'll read the rules for that one. You have a deck box to put it in, which is very, very helpful. A cardboard cut out to show you that you are dread a booster pack which is super super cool so you can use these to expand your deck and a quick start guide let's have a look at this i'm not going to teach you uh, how to play the game but we can just go over some of the basics here okay so we have bit of a reflection obviously you've got your hero card and you will get the hero's name the elements available to the hero they allow the hero to play action and combo cards that require any of these elements a description of the ability and the health you also have action cards and your combo cards and the buff and item cards. We also have all, all the elements. Out there. This is very, very good um, guide to help you get started. All of the elements. A uh, quick thing about the cards: you can't have more than one of the more than one of the same combo card and have a maximum of three unique action cards. That's your uh, restrictions there. So how to play the game and what you should do on the turns. I'm not going to read all that out. And on the back we have the objective of the game. This is a very way more in-depth um, rules there's a lot of rules to go through but i'm sure as you uh, play the game you'll pick it up and here is the play map which is really helpful again um, these are too close to me so on the side there you can see the health counter the objective of the game is to get your opponent's health to zero and you have start of the turn just to remind you what to do where you put your items your hero your discard and your deck so that is pretty cool and i cannot fit it on the table here so what do we have here we have 
our deck and on the front there you will see our hero and here we have a hero, five combo cards and 30 action cards. And let's open it up and have a look. I'm not going to be able to, am I? I don't have nails. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so that is our hero card and these are elements I believe and that is the health and that will be her ability. So heal for two whenever another hero removes any of your buffs, increase this by two if a combo buff was affected. So that is a com combo buff card you can see there. Another combo buff. Combo, 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 that is a buff card. And the artwork on these cards are super cool as well. So it's a defend, a buff, buff, attack, attack, buff. So all of these cards have their own special abilities within the game. I'm not gonna go in depth with the rules of the game, but just a quick look of at the cards that you get in the deck. I cannot wait to start using these because they look really cool. So they are all dread. Now these are not assigned, so these could be used with any um, order. If you buff cards, because they're, they're a neutral colour as well, I'm guessing the colour of the card. So I'm seeing these for the first time, just like you are now. And that is a, a code, a AR, for the um, it's a tribute card, so you scan this in the game. Hopefully, I'll put a put a clip up here of me doing this, so you can see what happens when you scan these into the game. Because that is another really cool feature, and I love the Light Seekers iOS game. So I can put all of those in in a little deck box here. Really easy to make and you've got a space for your name as well so yeah really standard cardboard pick box always useful to have these very very useful and we have a booster pack so let's open this one up and see if there's anything we can put to enhance our deck. I love how they give you one of these as well. So we have COVID Conspiracy. So that one would go in a nature deck because it is green. A sneaky Kibra, Kribra, Kribal, and that's neutral. So that could go anything. Mage ship, I believe that would go in astral. Oops, hurricane spirit, it's a storm. Inferno, Cedrus as a new hero card, so we could use that in a nature deck. Chrono Wrangler and Abyss Weaver, and oh, this one is shiny. It is Ghostly Grasp, and I believe that is that would be our rare in each booster. Let me just double check. I've got this right. You should get one hero, one rare, two uncommon, and five commons. So this should be our rare then. And it is Dread, which is cool. Maybe we can put that in our Dread deck. So at least you know, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. So that's pretty, pretty decent for a booster pack. When you feel like changing up your deck, you can also purchase more booster packs. And as I've already said, these contain one hero, one rare, two uncommon and five common cards. They are also bringing out massive expansion sets to keep things fresh. So there are new cards on the way all the time. You can check out the Lightseekers social media channels. They typically share um, a card a day from upcoming sets. Well, they are at the moment anyway. As well as booster packs on their own, they do this super booster set, as you can see here. And Included inside our five boost packs and another deck storage box. And this is a much cheaper way of doing things as well. I've seen these around for around 18 to 20 pounds. So they are better value for money than buying them all separately. So 
if I open it, I'll show you what you can get. Another um, deck box, which is no different to the ones you get in the in the decks there, but you know, it's good for keeping spares and swaps. It's so good. So five packs. Let's do this. Hopefully, we get some more for our red deck, which I knocked over there. Oh well. So there's no pack trick. So Nova, that is cool. And I believe that's a new one for us as well. So we got Nova, Fumbling Alchemist, Body Morph, Time Flicker, Storm Wall, Witch Doctor, which is cool. Infected Wasp, Hungry Behemoth, I can never say that word. And Clarity, which is a hollow. Oops, just move the mic. So on the, on the back of the cards, they look like that, in case you're wondering, I've not shown that. There's a nice, nice effect, it's quite nice. Good quality cards. Okay, so we have Zenith, Astral Priest, Pathfinder, Crazed Bomber, oops, Rigor Mortis, uh, Prismatic Sunfeeder, Magma Worm, Stubborn Everock, and that is a hollow, a hurricane spirit. Nice, nice hollow effects on these. Onto our third pack. Starting off with horrific manifestation, soul thief, solar wind, reckless spirit, magma spitter, crystal skin. Gorge Stalker, the cool thing, uh, Creeble Raid Party, and Wind Controller. Very pretty card there for the Storm decks, nice and hollow. I love the artwork for Lightseekers, it's very, very pretty. Got some talented artists working on the design of these cards, they are pretty cool. Okay, Max Illy. Everock Relic, Anti-Gravity Snail, <laughs> that's really cool. Crystal Leech, Umbron Marauder, Shade Ripper, Spirit Channeler, Star Blast, Inferno, oh that is our Hollow Rare. And our last packet. We have Goria, Shadow Puppet, Steel Fortification, Overwhelming Blast, Yikona Oracle, so she's pretty, and I'm pretty sure she, um, she's in the Astral deck, I believe. Shadow Supplier, so dark and cool. Crushing Blow, Alchemy Lab, and Bulwark Carrier, another tech. So these are really cool and I'm going to have to go through these, sort them into parts and see if I can expand any of these starter decks. Not quite enough to build a new one, although actually maybe I do have enough to build a new one, we shall see. <laughs> I doubt it though. But the artwork on these cards is really, really cool. Very, very impressed. Even though the card game is fairly new, it has organized play events all over the UK, which I think is really cool that they are getting behind competitive play of this game so early. And the prizes are really great, like deck mats and exclusive cards and stuff. So standard things that other card games would get for competition prizes. And there are bigger regional events and national tournaments as well even at this early stage. If like me and you struggle to find people in the real world to play TCG with, Lightseekers are working on a digital version of the game that you can play on iOS, Android and PC devices and that should be out later this year and I can't wait for that. Overall I feel like Lightseekers TCG is off to a really strong start. They clearly care about getting people involved and into the game and they're doing a lot of promotion for it. Already diving straight into big tournaments at well-known events such as PAX, DreamHack, UK Games 
Expo is pretty impressive. While the game is easy enough for children, you can bring a lot of depth into your deck, which complicates things a little bit, like uh, dual order decks, and that keeps, you know, things really interesting. As I was learning to play the game, you know, you, you do make mistakes. Uh, it took a couple g games to get into it and for things to click. And when you get it, it is super easy and games are pretty quick and I really enjoyed it. It was really refreshing. And the fact that you can not just play with two players, but you can play with more than two players, which, which is nice. I can't think of many card games that do that. So that's a quick overview of the Lightseekers TCG. Let me know in the comments down below if you have played it, if you've never heard of it before, and if this video makes you want to check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.